Let me show you what I'm working on here. I, uh, I'm trying to make a uh, DLC connector breakout box. One for like your, you know, I got, I took a standard uh, like OBD2 connector. I actually cut this off of uh, one of my old uh, scan tools. It doesn't work, but you can buy these just the cables like on eBay for a couple bucks, three, four bucks. If it's just the cable, you know, and what I did was I stripped back this wire and I soldered, uh, um, soldered everything, soldered each wire to a little, to a little ring. And, uh, the way I did that was I, I kind of did a makeshift, uh, holder, just put some rubber bands around my wire strippers and had some needle nose spaced out to hold it up. And I just, you know, I held it in there so I could have a free hand. And I just soldered every one of these. Um, one thing I noticed was uh, there's 16 wires on here. But on this end, there's only 15 wires. So I used my meter and I, I found out that these two, uh, I don't know if I can show you, but these number pin number four and five, which is the, t the two grounds, notice here pin four and five are a little bit longer than the rest of the pins um, I don't know if I can show you but just take my word for it pin four and five are the two grounds uh, pin 16 where's pin 16 uh, one two I think that one's pin 16 looking at it backwards and through a camera so pin 16's power um, so the way I did that it, I mean the since these have uh, the two grounds, they just, whoever made this connector, they just have them connected inside here. I know that because when I check continuity uh, but between these two, I, mean, I, I put my meter on both of these pins and they were, they had continuity. So I'm, anyway, I'm building my own uh, OBD2 breakout box. You can buy these online already made, but I happen to have a, a big bag of banana jacks and that's what I'm using just because it's what I had on hand and what I did was I, I ordered two project boxes that one and that one this is how it came uh, off eBay for like four bucks a piece or something like that it was actually a little bigger than what I thought it was but this does work so but what I did was I took this one let me show you inside um, I got these ready. These are the banana jacks. I just made it all one color because that's what I happen to have on. I probably should have bought some more colors, but uh, I was building it cheaply and that's just what I had on hand. But, you know, this is going to represent pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then, you know, 9 through 16 on this side. Uh, as I said, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are, are grounds, and pin 16 is, is going to be a power. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Uh, all these rings are going to fit on here and uh, I'll be able to plug this cable into the uh, DLC plug it in and I can you know use my meter or scope meter or or oscilloscope lab scope whatever and I can uh, do some testing real simply if I have a network fault or something like that just something I wanted to build and what I'm going to do is I have a like a cable gland here that I'm gonna stick in this box right here. I drilled a 5 8 hole. And this will hold the hold the cable real nice. Uh, gonna shove all this in. I'm gonna show you this connector real quick just to do a breakdown. My wife and son like to draw on the table, so it, you know makes them happy. So okay with me. Here's a uh, banana plug. Comes like that. Now this part's kind of shouldered. This part is uh, this part is a five sixteenths. I drilled a five sixteenths hole. I took a five sixteenths drill bit, drilled a hole. It fits in there perfectly. And then, so this piece, you know, slips over this piece like that, and that fits into your five sixteenths hole perfectly. And then this part holds it down. And then I took this ring and I pre-soldered everything to this clip so I can just slip it on here 
like this and then hold it down with my nut and that's how that goes together just to show you okay let me show you guys what I got here I uh, just finished up soldering everything got it all in place um, kind of looks like a rat's nest but uh, as you can see I had this wire as I said has uh, 15 wires on this end and it has 16 pins on this end what they did was on the fourth and fifth pin they're both grounds they tied them together and just ran they basically tied these two together and just ran one wire back so um, the way I'm doing it is I have 16 pins um, so this will be my number one two three and four and five I have tied together and six seven eight and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. As you can see, this is my little device. Basically, when I plug this in to a car, I can access the terminals uh, you know, really easily. I just plug in my meter to that, and I can you know, check networks a lot easier. But uh, I'm going th to throw this on here and put it all together. And Okay, I have my tool made. Um, got it all put together all it is is this box which has uh, 16 banana plugs and this cable comes out and goes to this uh, you know, where you plug in the DLC connector and if you look at the there's numbers in here you can't really see them though but this pin is you know this pin is one this pin over here is eight and this is nine through sixteen so essentially you know this pin is connected to to one and so on and so on this I use this for a, a, a breakout box if I'm doing networking uh, tr you know troubleshooting or if I'm troubleshooting something on the DLC connector my meter here I'm going to show you one just to show you guys it's on continuity and I got it so that it'll ring out so let me show you I'm going to put this, I mean, I'll be able to stick this in here like that. And if I was working, I'm going to plug this in here. Okay, as you can see, I have that plugged in and it's continuity. I can pull that out. Hope that makes sense. But turn this off I just need to find some type of sticker material uh, so I can label these pins like typically uh, 4 and 5 will be grounds pin 16 will be power um, the rest of these um, they, they change a little bit depending on the network protocol some of them are mandated some of them are manufacturers discretion it just depends but um, all, all the uh, connectors are the same. You can, I mean, this will fit any OBD2 connector, and you can troubleshoot the data link pins or the power and grounds, or if you have an open, or I don't know, just a, just a little tool that I built just to help me troubleshoot networks. Uh, hope that makes sense. Uh, th this video is just a little overview of how I made it. If I do another video on it, it'll be, I'll show you guys, I'll troubleshoot a network to show you guys. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you.